Hi guys, my name is Zin and welcome back to another uh, video. Uh, two weeks ago I did a whole bunch of repotting and there was some soil left over, which is the, the, the new kind of soil which that can be recycled. So I'll show you that right now. I put all the soil in this uh, bin here, it's quite a bit actually. And there's like a mix of dirt, uh, just some like roots and uh, yeah, just some random stuff from from the previous pots but other than that the soil is completely re uh, reusable and this is a, one of the purposes why i uh, switched to this kind of soil so i could reuse it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sift this out so that it can get rid of all these you know roots and other stuff and then i have a japanese maple it's a trident maple uh, that was in the ground last year i uh, dug it up and put it in a pot uh, in the fall once it went dormant so i'm going to get that pot i'm going to uh bare root it uh to do some pruning and then the root pruning and then i'll use the soil to pot it up into a well i guess i don't i don't have any pots anymore i use them all uh, but i'll put it in this plastic bin here which is basically the shape of a pot it's pretty deep as well so it'll be good for the uh maple that's just coming out of the um, you know outside uh, regular dirt um, up here I don't have any updates everything is growing you know this that's the crown of thorns uh, it's you know it started to bud out where it's supposed to um, everything here is growing you can see the leaves are big on these ones compared to the smaller ones at the bottom uh, these are the new leaves over the, the winter which is almost over and then here is the Brazilian rain tree, uh, this was a branch that I kind of wired up, so now it's coming up really nicely. I had to kind of clip the lawn ends on a lot of these because it's just getting way too big and there's not enough room in this little uh, fish tank here. Um, this Japanese maple hasn't leafed out, it's starting to go, but I think what's happening is that there's not enough roots or energy in this little cutting to support all the leaves, so that's why it's coming out quite slow. And you can see the tips are browning, right? Like this is, it's like it's trying to come out, but it doesn't have enough uh, juice. So what I've done is I kind of cut the top. This was actually longer. I cut the tip. I uh, sealed it. And I'm hoping this will reduce the, you know, because it reduces the amount of leaves that it has to kind of push out. Um, hopefully that will give the, the rest of the tree uh, more, or the rest of the cutting, more energy so that you can, you know, actually push out leaves. But... If this kind of goes bad, you know, it, let's say it doesn't work, it dies. Uh, I'm not too, I'm not going to be upset because I know I can do this again. Now that now I've done it once, so doing it again is uh, not going to be a problem. Um, anyway, everything here is looking good. I I will take you to the garage and I'll show you which tree I'm talking about. I'm in the garage. Uh, this is the one. This is the Trident Maple. It's kind of already leafing out at the bottom here. Uh, I've noticed that this tree or cultivar um, it always comes from the bottom like the, the bottom always greens up first and then it starts to go up to the top you can see there's a lot of lengthy shoots uh, out here I initially cut it here like two years ago and nothing came up so that's dead wood and there's two branches coming out at the bottom here um, at this point I'm, I'm you know I'm basically just building the trunk line so all these shoots come from the bottom I'm probably not gonna keep them um, actually I could but I'm, I'm gonna first get rid of this dead wood first here uh, because it's kind of in the way of, of everything. So, and then uh, I'm either going to keep this one in the back here. You know, I might keep that one to kind of build a trunk line or I might keep this one. There's lots of choices, but I could just, you know, also just get rid of the middle and then do kind of a clump style or something like that. Um, but you know, I don't, I don't know yet. But this is the one that I'm going to uh, kind of clean up. I'm going to get rid of the uh, dirt. This is just like, it's not even garden soil. It's just like ground. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that outside. It's it's above zero, so it's not like freezing cold, but it's not warm either. It's like I don't know, three or four degrees. But there's so much dirt here, and it's like really earthy dirt. It's not like uh, it's not like good soil. So. I just want to do it outside so I can dump the stuff outside. Uh, I really don't have spot, uh, space to, to do that inside. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you what the root looks like before I pot it up.
So you can see there's still a lot of these, uh, some of the roots are still in here, but not that much anymore. Maybe just a few I'm gonna pick out. And I'm gonna use this soil, which is a, uh, you know, it's a good mix, I think. So yeah, I'll use this for the trident maple. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is good. There we go. So I've got this tree, uh, you know, kind of raked out. And the roots, as you can expect, is where you would, uh, you would see when you're digging a tree from the ground. It's just, there's like all kinds of twists. And uh, it's not very workable. And you can see the roots are already white. There's so many white roots uh, because of the tree is already growing. So it's, it's a bit late to be doing this. Um, but I don't think it's going to matter too much because it's not going to kill the tree. It's just going it, to, I think it's going to stun its growth for sure. But I'm not too worried about that because this is just, it's very young. There's years to go, right? So um, I think I'm going to take probably a lot of this off, but I can't take all of them off because there's just not enough fine roots over here. You know, most of the stuff you see is, are these kind of long, thick roots which doesn't have any fine roots coming off of them. So I'll try to get rid of this twist and turn over here. This, this uh, you know, kind of a hairball here. Um, and then we'll see what we're left with. And I'm going to have to wait and let this grow for a couple of years to get more roots. So then I can trim off more roots and uh, form the base. But I think it's going to take a few years just to sort this whole thing out. So I don't know what's going on here, but I'm going to have to trim something because this is just not workable. One thing for sure is that this guy comes down and then it starts to turn into the tree itself. So I'm going to get rid of at least half of this. And then all these ones come down. I mean, they're not really usable because they're just like twists and turns coming off this thing, which is already the roots, it's not the trunk. So yeah, this, this root base is gonna take a long time to fix, but for now, I'm just gonna try to get rid of some of these. Like really, I just want to get in here so I can actually see what's going on. Okay, well, there goes the majority of the roots. Just those three kind of, uh, you know, ah, what can you do? I'll get rid of this twist and turn here. And then I think this is a dead root. Oh yeah, just snap right off. Okay, just twisting. Um, this bottom one, you can see the roots coming out the bottom here, but there's a couple of uh, finer roots up, up top. So I'm gonna reduce it to where this one starts. And, you know, I think that'll be okay.
This one, I'm going to reduce the tail here. It's kind of tough to uh, determine what the base of the tree is because there's this thing underneath. And then this is kind of where the, the base was, but then this is where the roots are. So if I, you know, if I, if there was more roots here, I would take it off all the way. I would take this entire bulge at the bottom right off. Like this whole thing, I would take it off to hit to here, which makes the most sense because I have two roots coming out on the opposite side too. <laughs> um, and then this kind of has a reverse taper because of all these bulge here. But... I think if I did that now, I would lose, I would lose, you know, 90% of the roots. And to be perfectly honest, I think the tree will be okay if I did that because there's still fine roots on the other, uh, on the other kind of branches, the root branches. Uh, but it's very risky to do that. Um, so let me reduce the bottom a bit and then see what I'm left with before I decide to do anything else. Mainly, I need to solve this, and this, you know, this eventually will have to get removed. Uh, but I don't know if that's going to be now or later. So let me solve this twisty thing here. I also need to kind of shorten the base so it actually fits in this uh, plastic pot here. Okay, there's not much left here. You can see uh, there's barely any roots, uh, but I think whatever's left is going to be enough to support the tree. There's vigor in the tree and it's going to try to push stuff out. And hopefully by then there'll be roots, uh, the roots will kind of recover. Um, I don't know, this is, it's just, it's tough to work with. There's just not that much choice. So my eventual goal is to get rid of this bottom and where the tree splits at the bottom, like, I, you know, uh, split into three over here and that's what I'll keep as a base but I can't just get rid of this now I think it's I mean it's already pretty bare as you can see so I don't think I, I should go anymore um, so I'm going to clean this kind of a mess over here up and then uh, I'll pot it up in this plastic pot okay so I I'm going to cover these little holes they're not that big but I think it's not small enough and here's my sift of soil just going to get a base layer so I can uh, make sure this, the uh, strings stay where they are. Now some soil will escape because there's like these little gaps, but that's okay I think. This will have to be a bit deep, probably just as deep as you can get. Gonna work in the soil a bit. There isn't that many fine roots, so there's not too much to work in, but you know, still a little bit of adjustment. It's better than nothing. 
Let's let this all get into the uh, possible spaces down under. Actually, let me tip the tree a bit. Okay, so I think the tree is good. Um, I covered it to, you know, this high so that hopefully the, the roots will start developing under this line. And this could be a possible root base just, you know, starting here so I can get rid of the, the bottom stuff. Um, I mean, here's the hoping at least. So I'm sure this is going to slow down the tree by a lot, but I, I don't think it's going to kill it to be honest. But I mean, we'll see. You know, I might be wrong. So uh, I'm going to water this and... I'll move this back to the garage and uh, keep in mind my garage is south facing so it's you know it's not freezing cold there's no wind so i think even though this repot is a little bit late uh, but we're in the beginning of march still so it's there's still like at least a month and a half or so before i can kind of take this out especially that when the leaves are out uh so yeah let me just uh yeah, I'm going to water this in the bathroom and then um, I'll show you where it goes in the garage afterwards. Okay, so I got the tree on the garage bench slash rack. Um, I thoroughly washed the soil, so, you know, I think it should be fine. It's quite cool in here, um, so which means the tree isn't going to, you know, aggressively try to push out leaves. And I'm hoping that's going to give it a chance for the roots to start growing. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, but I, I, I don't expect anything bad to happen with this... Uh, repotting here um for the other stuff oh i do see something that's happening it's not good so this one i guess that might not make it because it's like limp but as you can see the rest are doing okay um i guess the root pruning was too bad for that one uh that's probably why it's limp um it might die it might not die you know it doesn't matter if it dies it dies uh, i still have a whole bunch of other stuff so that could be a casualty of the repotting for the Japanese maples. Um, everything else looks okay. I thought this would leaf out for sure. Uh, if you remember, I moved the small cutting of uh, this silk tree upstairs and that one is leafed out completely and it's, it's growing really well. Downy willow here is uh, trying to leaf out. It's been like this for like a couple of weeks. It's going very slowly, which is good. Uh, you can see here, I may actually take that off and take this one eventually. So that's good. Winter jasmine. This one, like it barely went dormant to be honest. It was flowering in the garage for a while. And then it was like February and then it wasn't too warm, too cold. So it kind of already started growing again. So I don't even think it went to dormancy for that long, if at all. <laughs> uh, this is a Japanese maple cutting from, uh, not cutting, air layered from my front yard. Uh, that's pretty much all leafed out now. My little larch here, it's starting to come leaf out as well. And then everything here looks okay, even though the root pruning, actually except for this one, has the same kind of a behavior. Anyways, I think my wife is coming in and she's gonna leave. So anyway, <laughs> um, that's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching, see you next time.